Alright, so now we need to install the drivers for our USB cables. So there are two different types, so make sure that you have the correct one. Um, I'm going to be first showing you guys how to do the FTDI install. So this is the one that has the micro USB cable, so that's like the Android phone charger ones. Um, so we're going to start with that one, so go to that install stuff. So the first step is we need to connect up the board. So plug in the USB cable into the computer and the other end into your controller, like your little brain there. Um, and then flip up the first dip switch. Um, once you do that, press this reset button down here to get it into download mode. And you should see this right LED over here blinking and none of the others doing anything. If it's not doing that, make sure that the dip switch is indeed up and the other two are down and that you press the reset button. Uh, once it's like that, we can go ahead and continue on with the process. So you first need to download the driver. So pick your version. I'm going to do the Windows install. So to go through, start downloading. All right, so once you have it downloaded, we can open up our downloads folder. Um, it'll be this CM, CDM setup, all that. So let's open that up and start the install process. Uh, it'll ask if you want to do it, so yes. Uh, yep, want to extract. It'll go through its process. Next. Uh, you can read through the agreement and accept it. Next. And there we go. That's all it took. And we'll just click finish. Um, if you wish to double check to make sure that's installed, you can go through um, their instructions for the Mac. So you can go through to um, Apple, then click on about this Mac, system report, hardware, USB. And you should see like something USB UART. So that way you know it's connected. Or in Windows, you can go to your device manager. Um, so if you go to device manager. And then under ports, there should be a USB serial port. So mine's on COM23. So, yep, it's all good to go.